A lot of you guys have been asking about what video editing software I'm most excited about and guess what it's not one that's actually on a computer at all it's one that you guys can download on your phone for free oh and if this is your first time watching the channel probably gonna want to hit that subscribe button and ding that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we got planned that's right this is gonna be the first time I'm using CapCut a lot of dope AMV edits have been made not using After Effects but using CapCut so I'm gonna be pulling this up on my phone and one of the things I want to edit are some of my favorite characters from my favorite movies animes and video games of all time so first let's just quickly go through which ones I'm gonna be editing okay so first up we have Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and I just put the whole cast here because honestly every single character in this is super dope so let's go ahead and add this here next up I also have Howl's Moving Castle we got the two main leads here let's pop those in and then of course I gotta have a separate frame for just Calcifer who's like the dopest fire demon ever. We also got some characters from Hunter x Hunter. We got Killua, dope. And then of course we gotta have Naruto because what anime edit is complete without having Naruto? And you know, just to up it up a notch, we also got Sasuke in there. And it looks like they're about to bash each other's faces. And yo, for all the old school anime fans, whoever loves Princess Mononoke, you know we gotta have them in here as well. So I'm just gonna pop those in. And anybody who even knows what Akira is, I think it's Kaneda from Akira. But yeah, this has to be one of the most iconic anime frames I've ever seen before. And then, shoot, I even have a chibi style of Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura. Oh, and then of course, for my absolute favorite anime of all time, the one that ranks above every single one I listed, we got Chihiro and Haku from Spirited Away. Let's plop those ones in. And all right, I know this this last one is kind of a cheat because it's not even really like an anime show, but the Kingdom Hearts frame has got to be super sick. So we got Sora, Riku, and then we got the whole Donald Duck and Goofy inside the frame as well. So let's plop those ones in and then another Princess Mononoke. Shoot, and hey, who here likes Attack on Titan? We got Attack on Titan here, a frame where they're all about to go to battle. And yeah, I think this looks pretty dope. I already like the UI, pretty easy to use. So let me just go ahead and click add. And oh shoot, that's like 15 photos. So here I have have all the different pictures inside of a timeline. Not really sure what kind of effects I want to do just yet, but I see that they have all these different options here. Can I zoom in? Nope, nope, that's not how I zoom in. Oh wow, the UI even tells me how to do it. So if I click on this, it looks like I can zoom in with both my fingers. And let's have uh, the zoom in on Edward Elric right here. So I'm gonna put, I think this is a keyframe icon. Nice, they actually have keyframes here. And bam, we're gonna zoom into his hands right here. Hit play real quick. Yo, that was actually super easy. Okay, I don't know why After Effects doesn't make animating this easy. Can I also add curves to this at all? Let me see if the animation, wait, they have a combo animation in. Yo, what the heck? They have all these transitions, a combo transition set. Yo, <laughs> do you guys see this? This looks super sick. This one's called Slide and Wave. Okay, already this is looking pretty dope. And then it looks like it goes straight to this uh, this next frame here. Let's add one to the one with Hal's Moving Castle here. Um, here we got Sophie and Hal. Let's see what the style one is. Allow cap cut to upload the... Yeah, I'm just gonna hit allow. I don't know what that really does. This is a photo puzzle. I have no idea what that means. Let's see. Okay, that one doesn't look as cool. I'm gonna try a different one. What's this 3D Zoom Pro? Yo, what the heck? <laughs> Yo, this one actually makes the photos look like they're 3D. So even though we're dealing with a 2D image, it actually is like making the faces act as if they're like real people. This is really weird. I didn't even know that CapCut could do this. Okay, next we got Calcifer here. I think I'm gonna try a different one. Instead of the styles, let's do another animation, a combo one. I think combo just means it's gonna animate them in and it's also gonna animate them out. We got this enlarge one. <laughs> Yo, okay, this one's super sick. Dang, and at the bottom here, I can even customize the timing of it. That looks pretty cool. All right, next up we got, I think I'm gonna also add in another transition. Well, actually no, this one looks like it might be cool with another style effect. What are these ones? Okay, so this one also looks really cool with the 3D Zoom Pro. I think that might be my favorite effect so far with this. <laughs> Yo, this is looking really cool. 
And not only that, this has only taken me like a few seconds. I can already imagine that doing this in After Effects would have taken me a few hours, not a few seconds. And it's also not as fun to do with just a mouse and a keyboard. Like doing this with your phone and your fingers is like super sick. They have all these different effects. Yo, babe, they have graphs as well for these animations so I can easily customize like their smoothness and their transitions. Any serious motion graphics artists out there know that graphs is like the main way that you can make something look super basic and mechanical and instead make it look like really, really dope and energetic or exciting. Wow. Okay, and these distortion effects look really cool. It actually kind of reminds me of the handy seamless transitions pack that was in After Effects. That pack is like 60 plus dollars and this app right here is completely free. Like they haven't even made me try to pay for anything. What other things can we do with this? Yeah, okay, I think for this one, yeah, I'm probably gonna try putting in a keyframe. Even though all these ones look super dope, let me go ahead. Can I zoom in on this timeline? Whoa. So if you guys have never used a keyframe before, all it is is a little point that says for this image to be at this size and this position at this exact time. So let's say I have this Naruto Sasuke looking like they're about to fight. And if I start at the beginning here, and let's say I zoom in a bit, I can either uh, zoom in all the way super close and reposition them. And I'm gonna tap this little diamond icon. And then when I scrub forward in the timeline and I zoom out, I'm pretty much just telling it to go from this zoomed in position to now the zoomed out one. So let's see if that one worked here. Wow, okay, so that looks pretty cool. Except it does look super mechanical. So let's see if I can go into the graphs. And yo, they actually have all the graphs already pre-made. So this is really cool. How do I do this one? Oh, okay, so I have to start on the first keyframe. And they already have these preset graphs. So dang, I don't know why After Effects doesn't have this installed already. Like th this is a feature that a mobile app can do. And wow, this uh, easy ease looks really cool. What about this flow one? I'm in this bounce. <laughs> yo, okay, these look really cool. Yeah, I think I'm even gonna try making a custom one. Yo, babe, we can even do custom graphs. Okay, yeah, this is super sick. Let me also mess with this footage a bit more and see what these other effects are. Is this, uh, I like the style one a lot. They don't really have too many though, so animation, animation in. Yeah, I think this rocky vertical effect looks like it's pretty cool for this. Maybe even the shake. Okay, yeah, that's super cool. Next up, we're going on to the Princess Mononoke one. Yeah, I love how ferocious the wolf looks in the background. So let me try to have an effect that really complements that. This bouncing. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, the zoom effect. What's also pretty cool is we're just dealing with photos here. I haven't even imported any video. And already we're making something that was static, looks super dynamic. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with the zoom effect. I'm over here just having too much fun checking out all these different effects. Yo, okay, that looks super sick. All right, next up, we got the Akira frame, which by default looks like it's not filling up the full frame. So I'm just gonna zoom it in with my fingers here. Let's have it start maybe with, I think his name's Kaneda, out of the frame. And then we're gonna have him go into the frame. Yo, by the way, sorry for butchering all these names, but hey, that's what happens when you have so many characters with multi-syllable names. You know, it's, it, it gets pretty difficult after a while. All right, so I'm gonna have his bike now in frame from this one. And let's see if those keyframes actually work. Yo. And in just like two seconds, I'm able to do that. All right, that scene looks pretty sick. But I also want to maybe try, what is this remove background feature? Yo, do you guys see that? It literally removed him from the background. That was so easy. What the heck? I didn't even know this software could do that. If anybody has uh, tried rotoscoping before in After Effects, you'd know that, yeah, that thing takes forever and it does not work nearly as well as this one did. I think it just uses an AI to automatically remove stuff from a background. I'm wondering if I can overlay him though on top of like a different background. That'd be even sicker. Oh shoot, yo, this is really cool. Dang, I don't even know you could do this in this software. Have him start over here. So he kind of walks into the frame. Is that possible? I'm just gonna click and drag. <laughs> Yo, okay, this is really, really sick. Wow, okay, that looks kind of wonky though. So maybe if I was trying a little bit harder, I could make it look a lot smoother. Let me see if I can even add some effects on top of this. Okay, yeah, this thing is insane. What the heck? So this chibi animation looks kind of out of place here. Yo, let's just start from the top. Let's see how this is coming together. So we got Full Metal Alchemist. Yo, okay, this is looking really cool. <laughs> You know what would make this really cool though? I think if we add some music into this, that'd make that look a lot better. All right, sorry, uh, Akira, I kind of butchered you a bit here. Let me take it off of the overlay. I'm gonna just delete this one. Let's just go straight to Chihiro. 
All right, we're just gonna rush through this. I'm gonna power through and see how quickly I can make these edits come together. You know what's wild? I actually really loved the Kingdom Hearts games when they like came out. I had the second game and then I ended up going back and buying like the original Kingdom Hearts and that game was also cool. But then I waited, I think maybe 10 plus years for uh, the newest Kingdom Hearts game and I couldn't even finish it. The game sucked so bad to me. I was like, what the heck is this? It was like they took away all the dope stuff from it. Yeah, I'm just really going kind of wonky right here because there's like too many different features that I'm like really mind blown that they even have and holy crap and the remove background feature works so good like how did they come up with this oh yo and you can even add in masks if you wanted to like super easily they let you do custom ones all right that's kind of the only limitation I see here is that I can't really make a custom mask necessarily but that's okay because they have other cool features anyways yeah I really think this 3d zoom one though is like probably the best one Holy shit, yo. Yo, this really makes this thing look 3D. Babe, honestly, if you could see this, I think you'd be mind blown too. What the heck? No, 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 you're, okay, do you wanna see it? Though, you gotta check this out. Look at this feature, right? So I took a still photo, I just added 3D Zoom Pro to it. And do you see this? Whoa. Right, it literally is picking what to make 3D and how to make it 3D. So look, let me try it on this Attack on Titan scene. It has all this action and stuff going on. That's great AI right there. Right, and this is super sick because it does it so quickly. What the heck? Yo, I literally used to have to do this in After Effects for like hours and it's just doing this in like seconds. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through the rest of these clips and add that same effect, cause that is super sick. All right, so we're almost at the end of the video. That's a pretty quick, easy edit. Yo. <laughs> All right, this is already looking really cool. Here we're at the last frame. Dope. Okay, so I think that looks pretty cool. We have a cap cut ending here. I think I can actually just delete this though to get rid of that branding. Let me see if I can add in some quick music here. So what music do they have? Oh shoot, yo, this actually ports right over to TikTok too. Or I can even use ones that's downloaded on my phone. It looks like we have even some other ones from the app. Trendsetters, okay. I'm curious what they consider trendsetting audio. We have FU Anthem by Leah Kate. Never heard heard this song before. Okay, if I can search up a song though, that'd be even cooler. I have a whole bunch of cool ones that I downloaded already. Let's see what we got. I highly doubt we got any Dom Kennedy fans watching. <laughs> hey, I got some Isaiah Rashad. <laughs> Thing I'm gonna put in, um, let's see, headshots. Oh, any I'm Dochi? Nope. We also got Georgia Smith, JPEG Mafia. Okay, I like JPEG Mafia, even though no one does. All right, fuck it, I'm putting JPEG Mafia. I don't know too many JPEG Mafia fans. All right, let's go. Let's see how this video plays out. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. You guys can also see here in the timeline, we have the waveform. So if we wanted to fine tune this animation and make them like hit exactly on the beat hits, I could just look at the waveform and see those points when it's peaking and then make sure my transitions hit at that moment. But already, even just cause we set this up kind of simple and all the footage imported at even intervals, for the most part, it's gonna look like it was synced up to the music. All right, so let's play this out. Oh, I'm gonna pause it right here just in case because uh, if the song changes when I upload this video, it's probably because I didn't want to get any copyright. So yeah, just a little heads up. Anyways, all right, let's play it. Okay, I think that was cool. Let's go ahead and hit export. I like how intuitive the UI is. For the most part, everything makes sense. So it wasn't super difficult to understand what I was doing in this app. Not only that, but I was kind of skeptical to see how precise I could get just by using my fingers. And right now, the fact that I can go on a frame by frame basis in this timeline is super impressive. Oh shoot, when did, the, when did this turn off? All good, bam, they're gonna turn back on. <laughs> 
So here we got this 1080p. Looks like I can even change the frame rate from 30 frames to something like 60 frames per second. That's kind of cool. I can even set the render settings to 4K. This is really cool. I'm gonna hit export right now in 4K video quality. Already I can say initial impressions are that CapCut is such a powerful video editing software. It does a lot of the things that would normally take hours to do in After Effects much, much quicker. Down to even rendering is so much faster. Like you don't have to go through all these different options and encoding settings and instantly we even get sharing options at the end of it. I can play out the video on my phone. Okay, cool, so this looks really cool. Yo, and right here, I can even see the project that I just edited on my phone. So where if I wanted to go back and re-edit it, everything is right there, that is super cool. Another feature that I noticed uh, some editors using was their shortcut feature. It's one where you just select all the images and video clips, and then you don't even specify the transitions or anything. You just tell it what images to use, and it's just gonna make a really dope video out of that. So I'm gonna try doing that same exact thing right now by selecting all these different pictures. Bam, 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 bam. And it's saying generating. Yo. Okay, that was really sick. Holy crap. So now I can see how someone can make a bunch of different AMVs in just a matter of minutes. Okay, I gotta say that one actually looks more impressive than me just sitting down and really trying to do all these different edits. Holy crap. Yo, and I love this heart effect too. Where did they come up with this? Yo, okay, their presets are too sick. Um, let's see, I think I really like the pop one with the hearts around it. And if I wanted to replace the audio, which one would I pick? What's this Nirvana one? Nope, that is not Nirvana the band. That is just someone's basic song there. Okay, shoot, I'm just gonna use their default sound and I'm gonna export this one out too and see how this one looks. Let's do it in 4K. How long is this gonna take? Looks like it took under a minute to render that all out. <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool. I can definitely see myself just playing around with this and making all sorts of cool fun fan page edits. Already, the CapCut editor is super, super dope. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of fun messing around with it. And if you guys wanna go ahead and download it, you guys can probably find this on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. The best part for me is that you don't even have to have a crazy, insane desktop setup. You can actually just do this using your phone. So yeah, the CapCut editor gets a well-deserved Black Mixture stamp of approval. Oh, and if you guys have any other super dope ideas, make sure you leave a comment down below. Who knows, maybe I'm gonna be trying out another editor next. Thanks to you guys for watching, commenting, hitting that like button. Yo, also we're gonna be posting some more shorts, so you might even find this video edit on the shorts page for us, as well as some other super dope videos. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you on the next one, peace. Oh, if you guys have stuck around this long, you know, check out, we got this video over here. You might wanna check that one out or oh. hit subscribe. Yo, and if you guys wanna check out some super dope edits that we got, we're gonna be putting them up on this Instagram page.